Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Arma 3 video. Today, we're learning the basics of the Eden Editor. So, basically the Eden Editor is a 3D editor introduced in Arma 1.55. And uh, you can actually test it out now on the dev branch, so... Here's a little example mission of what you can do in this 3D editor. So if we zoom out a little bit, you can see there's a trigger here. There's a trigger here, and a bunch of objects, and basically this, this is a simple elimination mission, and built with custom, I guess you could say a custom terrain. Not really, but you get the idea of what I tried to do here. I tried to make an arena-like map, which I did. It was, you can see I inserted objects which were, you know, extremely hard to insert before, like, for example, inserting this crane here. It's as simple as just clicking and placing. It's that simple now. So we're going to get off of the basics, which is placing a unit. Okay. So, first of all, let's go over some controls. You can press E to open your Entities tab, and R to open your Assets tab. So your Entities tab will pretty much tell you everything that's already on the map. So you can go, say, I want to go to... Let's go over to this 45 ACP. There we go. I double click it, it sends me to its location, and highlights it for me. So, nice and easy, and uh, a lot better than the previous editor. All right, so now for the Assets tab, this is where, basically, this is where everything's located, where you can play stuff. So we got, um, for example, objects, Compositions, triggers, waypoints, systems, markers, all the stuff they had in the previous editor, except now in a more better package. And of course, you've got the groups for each. So let's say we want to uh, let's go to props. Say we want to insert a wall. So instead of having to search through all of this, although there's an option for walls right here, you can just search. Um, you just type in a wall, and there you go. You have you have uh. A list of walls or objects that have the, the word wall in it. So now we can just simply drag. Oh, we don't want to place it. There we go. This one right here. We'll just simply drag it onto the battlefield, and there we go. It's there. Now that's here. We have some things we can do with it. So if we right-click the object and go to attributes, this is basically the uh, attributes screen the editor had, except sometimes it's a little bit more, well, in general, it's, it's a little bit more in-depth. So you got the uh, show model, enable simulation, enable damage, enable stamina. I'm not sure if these things will still be on objects when uh, the Eden editor is actually released, but we will see. Um, now, you can actually move the object by hold, clicking and holding, holding it just like this. So we'll say we want to move it over here. There we go. Simple as that. And you can also rotate the object by holding shift and then holding the object and rotating it however you want to, just like this. Simple as that. You can rotate an object that easy. And so you want to uh, toggle grid here. Let's do a one meter grid. It's now toggled. That's off on. Oh. It's a little bit buggy still. But I know I actually. I'm not using the uh, rotation grid. Derp. So let's go to a. Let's keep it 15 degrees. So you can see now when we move the object. It's not free like how it was before. So if we turn off that, here we got it free, and then we can click this drop down arrow, click the uh, the grid that size that we want, or we can just uh, click that button there, and it will toggle the grid for us. And uh, rotation grid, same concept except for rotating. So it you know snaps it to a certain angle, just like that. You can also set the height of an object, which is by pressing 
and holding alt, left alt, and holding, clicking, and dragging the object up or down. You can see we can do this, we can get it in the ground if we want to. Now, by default, objects will not be able to be placed in the ground. As far as to say. Like, as you can see, um, most objects can't go sink into the ground. Like, this object here can't get into the ground. Which is why we have this button here, which is toggle vertical mode. Which we can now, you know, maybe place this a little bit more in the ground, like, say, for example, here. And for the uh, video's sake, I'm just gonna disable that as well. Okay. So we're just going to hide these for now by pressing E and R. But that's out of the way. How did this get here? That's the question. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so there's also some other tools that you can use, like the flashlight feature here. So if we do set the scenario time to nighttime, you see it's pitch black and we couldn't really work like this because it would be really hard we don't have flashlights or anything so actually we actually do have a flashlight which you can press by L or by pressing this button here and it lights up the world just for you this is not how it will look in game this is just so you can edit in the uh, 3D dark world so really useful you can toggle it anytime by pressing L let's go back to Daytime. And it's that simple. Alright. Now let's uh, let's place a unit for us real quick. So again, let's just go to objects. Blue four. Close the search. You don't want to be searching. Unless you want to search for a certain unit such as a rifleman. But you just click and drag, just like an object something like that in the world and something you can do really interesting you can right click the object and go to arsenal this pretty much allows you to edit the the, uh, the unit's loadout so so that I don't want him to have this gun I just go over here to primary scroll all the way up until I find empty Hit okay. You can do this with anything such as uh, headgear, vests, backpacks, clothing, etc. And pretty much you can set up and create your own units. That simple. Another awesome feature is let's delete this guy. Let's go over to this guy real quick. Say that I want to test this map without getting shot by the enemies. Well, I can actually become an enemy. So I right click him and click play his character. I actually plays him. And now I won't get shot by my fellow comrades that are all around the map, so he's up there. And you can see that um, really the limitations on this editor are very small compared to the to the uh, to the 2D editor. Like before placing all this stuff would take forever. Uh, exact measurements, etc. just took too long in the 2D editor and it was nearly impossible. I mean if you were to do this in the 2D editor, props to you, this would take hours and hours of fine placing and tuning. So let's go into this garage real quick. I'm gonna show you what I would have done before. What and what this what opportunities this editor allows you to do. So as you can see I placed a weapon inside this the back of this truck here. And Doing that in the 2D editor is very hard. And same with this look here. This is pressure there. You see, just before all of this would be extremely hard. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure to check out my channel for more tutorials. There will be more Eden Editor tutorials coming up soon. And also, you can check out the tut tutorials button right here, and that'll help you out as well. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.